Hey everyone, just so you know, the following video is a clip from a show I actually do on AFTV. The full link for the video is in the description below. Thank you for your continued support, really, really appreciate it. On the, um, on the Arteta stuff, right, and um, how fans are feeling after, what I will say is, it, it, it's a, it's a, we talk about the players being emotional. Like, a title race is, it's a very... Um, I guess emotional affair. You can probably find better ways to put that. Um, and you see that on the touchline. I mean, look how Arteta's reacting to everything, and we're feeling all that. And you know, after game, people are frustrated. Now, um, a lot of people, and I hope you don't mind me saying this for you, Turkish, feel that the title race is over, or or just think that's it. I, you know, we're, we're not going to win it now. We might. We all know. We might not. I don't have a problem with people who feel that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I get it. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, they can beat us to close to two points and they have two games at hand. So they've got plenty of opportunity to take advantage of our slip ups. I think it's it's the, the time over, over the last few days has passed. And yeah, I might get criticized for having a bit of a loser mentality here or whatever. But I just think last year I looked at the team and I didn't think they were good enough to challenge the top four. I didn't think we had the kind of level of quality we needed to get into the Champions League, to be a Champions League team. But they challenged, disappointing the way it fell away. This year, I really didn't think we had the kind of quality to challenge not just Man City, but Man City doing the whole 90 plus points thing. And we've kept up. I, and I just, I feel I feel proud of the team. Like They've won seven mm -hmm. of their last 10. They've drawn three. I know the last three have been bad you know especially the way it's kind of all gone um but i but when i look at the bigger picture of the whole season i am very proud of this team and even though no one wants to hear it they at three one down they didn't throw in the towel they actually nearly won that game mm. and they didn't and we should be really furious about the results that's all that matters but people like to pick and choose when context matters and mm -hmm. in that situation they really did nearly win it Jesus at the end, Trossard hitting the crossbar and all that. So I, I want to give them credit that they didn't ever give up. And we're going to the Etihad now. And it's left me thinking, you know what? Whatever happens, I know this team are going to fight. I know that they are going to really give it what they can. And if it's not enough, it's not enough. And we will go again in the summer and it will be disappointing. And we keep trying. But... Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just want a team that competes for the badge and competes for the fans. And I think they do. They might get things mm -hmm. wrong, but I think they do. You know, on that subject, um, do I feel it's over? As soon as the match finished, I definitely felt it's over. And, and to be honest with you, right now, I do feel it's over because I feel like we've said that too. for 15 minutes. But you know what it is as well? What I've kind of noticed <clears throat> recently about me in terms of what you're saying about Arsenal and how far we've kicked on me Obviously, I used to be very pessimistic. I still, I still am quite pessimistic about things, but I used to be very pessimistic. I was pessimistic about everything, every single thing regarding Arsenal because I just didn't believe, I didn't have hope. They let me down too many times, broke my heart how many times. So anytime, <clears throat> even last year, anytime things were in question, like look at the end of the, towards the end of last season, we slipped up in similar not in a similar manner. It was a much worse manner, actually, when you really look at the performances and, and the fact we ain't lost a game in the last three and, and those ones last season we did. As soon as those things happened, the pessimism was taken over. But what I've noticed differently about me this year, and this is natural, this is not something you train or learn or force upon yourself. What I find now is, do I think it's over? Yes. But as soon as I say that, there's something in the back of my mind saying, come on, Turkish. It's, it, you know, we can do something at Man City. But it, the optimism is slowly, you know, taking over the pessimism for me naturally because of what Arteta's done and, you know, what I've seen from the team this season. And that optimism is not defined by Wednesday. Win, lose or draw on Wednesday, this optimism is here now because of the season, because of how far we've come. And in reality, yes, the opposition fans are going to laugh. They're going to chat shit. We're going to all hold it. We're going to get memed and all of that stuff, yes. But the reality is, as Arsenal fans, it will be it will be heartbreaking to lose out in the Premier League this year. But after a couple of days, after a couple of weeks, after you take a step back emotionally, maybe when pre-season starts, you'll look back and think, yo, a lot's changed in 12 to 18 months here. I like a hell of a lot of the players. They're playing, they're playing for the badge. And what I'm going to do is put the end of the season down to this young team because it's not the same team that, that fucked up the end of last season in the top four race. It's very different. Lee? 
Yeah, no, and, and also, <clears throat> you know, I urge every Arsenal fan not to judge Arsenal over these last three games. You know what I mean? J- judge them on what's gone on before. We've just gone on a little bit of a wobble, I think, maybe because the pressure's got to us a little bit. <clears throat> Pressure may be off us a little bit now because of, you know, we now know we've got to go there and win. So, I, I think maybe that might be a good thing, you know what I mean? And just, you know... The reason that we we are where we are is because we've been sensational up until these last few games, if I'll be real. So no, take, forget even the Anfield game. You know, we was fantastic for 40 odd minutes in that game. If we can go there and, and play like that, but do it for 90 minutes, who knows? You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still believing that Arsenal can win this title. As bad as it was on Friday and everything like that, this is a different game now. This is, this is, the, this is a, a team, we're playing a team that's got the same things to win or or to lose as us. Where on in these other games have been difficult games because you look at the West Ham game, a point to them was like <clears throat> sacred as, as it was for us for the three points. You know what I mean? Like same for Southampton. This game there is like both teams going at it for the same goal. And I think that may suit us. You know what I mean? I really do like I, I think that you know the pressure's been it's a different pressure now. Turkey one of the reasons that I support, I've said before, I support Arsenal Football Club is because I don't think there's been another top club, and maybe there has been, but in my 30 odd years of supporting this team, that caused as many surprises as Arsenal Football Club. The amount of times we've not won games that we were meant to win or should have won, but conversely, won games when everybody wrote us off. That's part of the kind of masochistic, nasty, weird, ness of why I support this club. I put myself through it. How many how many finals we've been to? How many games have we had over the last five or six years where we're like, yeah, I mean, Friday night is an example of that and we don't win the game. But I can also tell you games where, you know, nobody thought we were going to win. Nobody thought we were going to win the games of certain finals, certain semi-finals, and we've done it. Bringing it to Wednesday's, Wednesday's game now, Wednesday night has to be our Old Trafford. What year did we win the league at Old Trafford? What year was that? Oh, two. 2 That has to be our O2. The boys have really got to kind of reboot their minds. And the way for me, you beat Manchester City, is two things, bravery and intelligence. Those are two things that the boys need to do. You need to be brave. The teams that beat Manchester City are the teams that believe I can beat you. I might be, I'm not better than you, but I can beat you. Don't just kind of go there and think we're a decent team. Let's see what we can do. You have to believe it. They have to go on that pitch from minute one and let the world feel that they are there to win that game. And intelligence. But we're up against one of the most intelligent footballing minds of, of all time in Pep Guardiola, who has footballing friends on the pitch as well. They have to believe it and make history. I'm doubtful whether the boys can win this title, but I genuinely believe, and this kind of goes to the, the result of the, of the game kind of issue. Everyone's saying we need to win the game. And, and I think we do. I think Arsenal need three points to really give themselves belief they can still win this title. This might sound stupid. This might sound ridiculous. A point isn't bad. No, no, a point it's not. Is, a point is not bad. Let me tell you why. Because whilst a point does put Manchester City in the driving seat, if we draw on Wednesday, Manchester City are in the driving seat. There's no doubt about that. It's theirs to lose at that point. But what it does, and Carragher made this point, and I thought about it afterwards, and it's a, I think it's really true. What a point does is it keeps you in the fight. You're losing the fight, <laughs> but it keeps you in the fight. It's like a boxing match. You yeah. just get to round 12. You've been punched up for 11 rounds. Just get to the 12th round, and you just never know. So for me, what a point does, it puts them in the box seat 100%. But you then kick the can down the road. It's not over. And if you can then beat... Who's our next game, James? Chelsea at home. Chelsea. If, if you can then beat Chelsea and then beat who, James? Newcastle. Newcastle away. And, and then beat Newcastle away. If you can get through those two... I mean, I've had a feeling for a while, the Fulham match for Man City, that could be a free clip up there. And Everton have got a good record at home to uh, what, against Man City period. So I could be clutching. Maybe I'm clutching. But just... And this is part of what I kind of a testament to what you both were just saying. Just take it to as far as you can. Don't hand it away. Let City earn it. Let Manchester City earn this title. Don't give it to them. And I think if we can get a draw, a draw's not great. It's not great. But you are just hanging on in there. You're hanging on and you give yourself 
five, six, seven games where you just never know what may happen. Play smart. Get to the 80th minute and you just never know. What I don't want to do is go back to previous Man City beatings where half-time is over. And I believe this is a different team. This is a different Arsenal team, so I don't think that will happen. But for me, if you go 1-0 down, it's not the end of the world. Even 2-0 down, it's not the end of the world. Just remember what... It got might be with Man City. It, it, it could be, but we've got two goals in us, Turkish. We've got two goals in us, even at the Etihad. I believe that. So if you can play smart and just get to the 80th minute and be in the game, you give yourself a chance of winning the game. So a win is what I think we need, but I don't think a draw is the end of the world. A draw is not over for me. It's not over. I'm, you, I'm also you... just here to enjoy the ride a little bit now. I know it sounds really silly, right? What's <laughs> happened's happened. I kind of I kind of think in a weird way if we've beaten Southampton and then gone into sat into the city game knowing that a draw is good for us and it leaves us in the driving seat, whatever. I think I'd have felt this real pressure, this real tension. And I think that should still be there because I should feel like if we win there, we take back control. So it's really important we do. But because no one is expecting Arsenal to go and win, some are. In fact, I've actually met a lot of people who say, no, I think you're going to do something. Fair enough. But really, the, the expectation is that City either draw and stay in the driving seat or win and definitely go in the driving seat. I'm sort of just here for the ride now. <laughs> I've had the disappointment. I've had it. You know, the last three games, the throwing away leads, the draws out, that was a disappointment. Now let's just give it our let's just give it our best shot. And I really I'm 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 riding with the team here because this this has been a blast of a season. It they've really got to turn it around, the though. Hmm? They've got to turn it around. I'm not saying necessarily listen, I don't think we'll beat in City. I've said it already in this podcast. I'm gonna say it again near the end in the predictions. You're gonna see exactly what I think, but We've got to bounce back from this. I don't want to end the yeah. season favoured and finish six that... points behind City, seven points behind Turkish. City. Turkish. Agreed. But we've yeah. got, you know, I don't want to end this season like that because this season's been, you know, so You're... good for the majority. You're totally right, Turkish. I was just going to say, another reason why the, we need the points to win the title, but I think we need a point or more because I think if we lose this game and lose it badly, I fear for how the season can end. You then go yeah. to the Chelsea That's game. True. And it's a bit like, oh, he goes to Newcastle. The season could tail off. Does anyone know off the top of their head what the gap between second and third is currently? Not off the top of my head, no. Okay. So... I, I'm going to say about, I think it's about 12, 13 points. And I think... Oh, okay, okay, it. okay. So it's, it's more than I thought that I was going to say. Because if you lose this game and then, you know... You you, sure. I just think we need to get something from this game. Not only to kick on our title challenge, but you're right. I would hate to see this team just fall off a cliff. We've had a great season. And they deserve to finish it, and we deserve as fans as well to finish the season strong and and start next season yeah. on a high rather than oh bloody hell that last six games we won two. Yeah. If Man United, we two. If Man United win their two games in hand, they're ten points behind us. But obviously, that's if they win their two games in hand. I think ten points is probably still enough for us to lock off top two now. I think top two is probably sorted then. But I just think if we can get something at the Etihad, we bounce into the Emirates or against Chelsea. I think semi believing. Semi believing, I think it's really important that we don't. We don't again go back to my point about being intelligent. If at one one in the 89th minute, it's about then okay, do we go for it or do we? I don't know. We'll see how we, if, if we get to that point. But I don't think a point is the end of the world. I don't think it's great, but it's not the end of the world. You're so sweet, Jordan. If we get something semi believing, if we win, I'll be delirious. I'll be like, it's happening. No, 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 no. I, I meant draw. I meant draw. I meant Fair enough. Draw. I will be honestly all belief restored, and I think, and I think, funny because Gary Neville's been the enemy of Arsenal fans all season, hasn't he? Um, And actually, I don't always think what he said has been that wrong. But when he said after the West Ham draw, he said, "If you were given one away game in April to win to win the league, would you take it?" Now we know that that's actually not how it's mathematically mathematically panned out. But it's, in a lot of ways, in terms of the psychological benefit it could have, in terms of putting us back in the driving seat, it really could be an Anfield 89. It could be Old Trafford 02. It could be that kind of moment that the Premier League years, when, you know, they're doing their little read and they talk about the emergency alarm that the government read out. And, you know, it was, the, you, know, they, you know, they always give you... That was the year back. that Arsenal won at the Etihad. Yeah. <laughs> And there's just highlights of Martinelli or Saka just bearing down on goal and nicking us a win. Like, I mean, it, it could be. And what? Hey, why not?